Good morning, Misfits and Dreamers. Bob here. Today we're going to learn how to make Bob's famous sweet potato pie with uh, walnut, uh, caramelized walnut candy topping. Uh, this recipe is not hard. Anybody can do it. The longest time it's going to take is baking the sweet potatoes as well as baking the pie. But other than that, it's real easy. So. Anyway, I will put the list of ingredients and their measurements down at the bottom here in this vlog. So come on and join me and we'll get started making my pie. Alright guys, this is the uh, recipe. Um, this is a 9 inch deep dish unbaked shell. You're going to need a mixing bowl, a pound and a half of the sweet potatoes, half a stick of butter, at room temperature, vanilla, uh, carnation evaporated milk, um, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and a quarter cup of brown sugar. When you do the sugar, make sure you pack it, pack it, as you can see the fingerprints, pack it, and two eggs at uh, room temperature. And we also here have nutmeg, we also have allspice, and we also have cinnamon so again I will put this together for you I will leave the recipe um, down at the bottom also too guys you don't have to I do this is Newfoundland screech which is Canadian rum I use a half of, of a shot glass fault in my pie but you can use Kentucky bourbon whatever and or you don't have to so let me put this together for you okay we are going to add our butter to our mash we need to mash up your sweet potatoes and we need to Make sure you scrape down your sides, guys. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add our sugar, our eggs, Spices, teaspoon of vanilla, and now we'll mix that together. Now we'll scrape our bowl down again. So anyway, this is one of my old one guys. They don't make these anymore. This has been around forever with, sorry. So this is my openers, and like I said, it's probably about 1940s, still hanging around my kitchen. Anyway, now we're going to pour in a half a cup of condensed milk. 
they call for milk. I don't use milk in a pie recipe. I think the condensed milk works better. But the good thing about this, before you start beating it, fold it in, it works better. about a half a shot glass full. I'd like to thank Miss Lily in Canada for this. Alright guys, we are going to blind bake this pie shell. Basically, we're going to put it on a sheet pan. We're going to be let it be in the oven for about 15 minutes. Pull it back out. Add our um, sweet potato concoction here. Then we'll put it back in. And it's about 40, well, 50 minutes to an hour. And then we'll start checking it with a knife. All right, guys, there is your blind bake. Um, I forgot to do it, but I'll tell you because even I make mistakes. When you go blind bake, put some um, fork holes so you don't have this. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just, but this way you don't have that puff. So now we're going to add our sweet potato mixture. Sorry, guys, I'm moving around the kitchen into our pie shell now guys this is going to puff up as it bakes all right I'm uh, give me a head so when it comes out it's gonna kind of look like souffle don't panic. It will settle once it cools. Once it cools enough, will you put our candied pecans on this? Make sure you smooth it down all the way to the edges. Center out. So, this is going into a 350 degree oven for 55 to 60 minutes. You're going to take a butter knife after that time and put it in the center. It comes out clean. It's done. So then what you're going to do is turn the oven off, pull this out, just let it rest. And it, like I said, it's going to look like souffle, but it will settle. So let's get this into our oven. 350 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes and we'll see you back when this pie is done Alright guys, this is really easy to do the candy walnuts bag of crushed walnuts brown sugar um, You can do this in a double boiler and or you can do it in a nonstick pan I'm going to show you how to do it in a nonstick pan and Then we'll show you once that pie cools. I'll show you how to put it on top there it, it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright guys, this is the pie as it's out of the oven. As you can see, it's cooling. Now I'm going to show you how to make the uh, candy topping to go on top of this. Alright guys, we have a, like an 8 ounce package of chopped walnuts. We're going to roast these first. Just put some color on these. So you can just put them in, in the frying pan. Keep them moving around until they're toasted. 
Okay, guys, we're going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to add about four ounces of water to this. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to let this reduce down a little bit, and then we'll add our nuts. If you guys want to kick this up again, and like I said, add a little bit of dark rum. This is Canadian dark rum from Miss Lily. All right, guys, this, that is what you are looking for. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our walnuts. We're going to stir. Turn the heat off. We're going to let this sit and let it caramelize over the top of the walnuts. All right, guys, that's what you should be looking for is pretty much that kind of consistency. We're going to let this cool a little bit, and then I'll show you how to apply it to the pie. All right, now that our pie has cooled, all we're going to do with these is in the center. And we're going to smooth this out, like I said, from the middle out there you go so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the pie put it in the fridge let it completely cool and i'll show you how to slice it it's lasted two years okay guys that is cooling it is now room temperature so we're going to put it in the fridge for an hour or you can do this to overnight let it cool so I'm going to put this in the fridge I'm gonna let it cool I'll slice you a slice and show you how to serve it okay guys it's pie time let's give this bad boy a taste oh my god this is too delicious so I should put a warning label on this anyway if you are new here please subscribe hit the notification button hit the like button leave a comment and we will see you in the next video